Hello everyone, and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Military Models. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be working back on uh, Victory again. As you can always tell when I'm working in uh, on Victory, the absolute workshop turns into absolute chaos. You just you have to get every tool out. You get all your cutting bits and everything out, and you just complete chaos. Well, people who see a model ship builders kind of understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to be working on the uh, the main grating and pin rail that surround this uh, main mast, and I'm just going to show you kind of how I use a lot of like little blocks and spaces, and I've used that pretty much through the entire construction of Sations Victory. I use them all the time, and I think it's from see we send from my uh, engineering background so like i say so i'm going to show you that so like i say i've already kind of made up some of these gratings and i'm going to kind of show you how i use the spaces just to kind of just make things a little bit easier okay so i've made these these gratings and i've also made the uh, the pin rail support and like i say i've got videos on my uh, channel in my playlist how i make these uh, gratings okay so these gratings and this pin rail Filled directly center of the main mast. And we've got this mast shroud. But I'm looking at the pictures on the anatomy of Nelson ships. And actually this mast shroud is actually flanned on each end. So that's what I've kind of done. I just kind of actually used them on the, uh, the table saw. And I've actually just flattened off two spots. So in theory, that's pretty much how they, they go. And you run parallel right down the mast shroud. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just determine kind of how big this is. And it's around about 13, between 13 and 13.5. So this is when I normally like to get space involved. So what I've done, I've just cut two little 13.5 mil spaces on the table saw. So what I can do is just put one in the back and one in the front. So that means I'm going to get a nice equal space on both sides. And all I'm going to do is take up space at the back just to kind of hold that all nice and flush. Okay, so now I want to determine the space between these two pillars. So I'm going to get my calipers, turn this facing myself. I'm just going to measure this distance between them. Try not open it up too much. And that comes in at 28 mil. So same again, all I've done, just cut myself a little 28 mil spacer and that becomes apparent in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna fit this, this top pin rail. And these are the design where it's gonna slot just between these two pillars. Same again, I've already made this and drilled this out, but you've actually seen me make these many times. So kind of what I wanna do and what I wanna want to glue this in this is what I've cut this space for so kind of once I've centered this up and then I can put this 28 mil space here in between the two pillars at the top so I know the relationship between the top of the pillar and the bottom of the pillar will be completely 28 mil and I'll know that I'll glue in dead center don't have to worry about anything any pillars being slightly uneven Okay, so what I'm going to do now is apply a little bit of glue just inside these little little wells. So what I'm going to do is paint a little bit of glue just inside these little slots. Now we can fit this pin rail. It's going to turn it to me a second so I can kind of make sure it's all nice and square. So I'll get that one in. Give a pinch. Just need to come across as a touch. As a center that out. Okay, so that's quite nice. All I'm going to do then is pop in that 28mm spacer just to make sure the pillars at the top nice and level and just square that up so that's dead center as well okay so i'm just going to leave this to dry five minutes i'm going to just pull out this this made up pin rail paint that and then we can actually fit it onto victory okay so that's after painting the pin rail 
we should be looking like and now it's time we can actually fit this to HMS feature like I say it's a lot easier to kind of fit it in one piece but first of all what I need to do is just need to apply a little bit of glue to this mast shroud so it's got this shroud it's on a temporary mast so I can paint it and then I'll transfer it over to the main mast and also why am I I may as well just paint the bottom of this main mast grating and pin rail So all I'm going to do is pull out this main mask and put this little shroud cap on and then we'll put this main mask back in and just square that, that up. Like I said, don't worry about the mask, we'll square that up later, just as long as the shroud square. Okay, so we're going to fit this uh, this main rail later. I just need to have it in place so I can kind of make sure that I can fit it afterwards. So now I can bring across this uh, this grating and this pin rail. I'm going to just remove this little uh, space to start with, just so we can slip it over around the mast. That is glue, so I'm just going to just apply a little bit of pressure first, then I'm just going to drop this spacer just back in. That can just pinch it. Okay, so you know it's serious when a model builder has to stand up. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to move it into its final position. Make sure it all looks nice and level and square. That's holding that pin rail nice. Cause like I say, I'm going to have to take this out later on and do some more work on that. And then the last measurement, you can check really you just take your calipers and just m measure between the cappings on each side so we've got 39.7 on that side and about 40 on that side so about half a mil so i can just maybe do a slight adjustment but i can kind of live with half a mil Okay, so that's the gratings and pin rail fitted. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit uh, shorter than usual. But like I say, if you join me next time, I'm actually going to work on this uh, rail. I'm going to fit all the railings and the uh, the harnesses that obviously all the soldiers, sailors, sorry, I should say sailors and marines used to store away all their hammocks. And pretty much that goes all the way, pretty much on the entire capping section of the uh the quarter deck so that's got quite a lot of work to do so anyway hope you enjoyed this quick video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon take care everyone okay so i hope you enjoyed today's video know it's a little bit shorter but next week i'm going to try and make it a little bit longer because i'm going to kind of work on this railing and fit all these harnesses where they stowed away all the uh Think of the word.